Hi there. Thank you for joining me in this little update video. How are you? How have you been? continue for a little while just to see but there is actually a little bit more noise than I anticipated I think from an unexpected impromptu party next door don't you love that when that happens the UK. We've had a real combination of weather this week with the temperatures going over 40 which is for the UK really hot um, and we just don't seem to cater for that sort of heat um, and then almost immediately it followed with torrential rain in places which is more like the UK but when one follows the other in succession, it does tend to cause problems on roads and railways and all sorts. Um, I know like many of us do, we're juggling our lives all the time. And it certainly feels that way for me at the moment. I have also some of the untethered soul cards here, which I thought I'd pick a few out to inspire us. Several years ago, I had a flood at my home caused by the main water board and it destroyed the bottom level of my home and my belongings but most importantly my photos of my daughter and things that you can't replace and it feels like it's been years and years of trying to battle to get it sorted or fixed um, would say compensation but these large companies tend to wash their hands of a lot of responsibility and then you turn to insurance companies and they tend to do the same when they refer to the small print so here we are in 2022 six or seven years later and just trying to get it rebuilt for the second time now. Let's see what this card says. A wise person remains centered enough to let go every time the energy shifts into a defensive mode. The moment the energy moves, relax and release. Letting go means falling behind the energy instead of going into it. Very true. I've also been uh, trying to get a little book completed, a picture book, to dedicate to my grandson for his first birthday, which I uh, completed this week, so hopefully it'll be paperback on Amazon soon. Um, I think, I'm not sure whether I'll do a Kindle or not, um, because it's one way you can fill in the name and spaces so it's personal and individual to every child, but it's called Sharing My First Birthday with You and Diddy the Dragon, a lovely little red dragon. But I'm pleased with it and it's brightly coloured and most importantly, I hope my grandson likes it, and eventually I hope 
anybody else that's looking for um, a birthday gift for a one year old either as a book or as a keepsake because at the back there's space for um, to write best wishes and thoughts and a little thank you gift lift, so nice little keepsake to refer to as and when let's have this one energy doesn't get old it doesn't get tired and it doesn't need food what it needs is openness and receptivity enthusiasm, joy and love. If you can feel that all the time, then who cares what happens outside? That's so true, isn't it? Enthusiasm, joy and love. And if you are a grandparent out there, joy and love absolutely depicts it. So I've been busy with that and I've also been continuing my um, third beach read. I'm not sure what it's going to be called yet, maybe 7 o'clock cocktails, maybe just 7 or 7 days. Um, it's a little bit just about uh, relationships and life, whether it be love or loss. Uh, mother and daughter, friendship, um, the central character is Gabrielle who moves to a coastal area abroad and she wants to start her life afresh and she meets a man and her daughter comes over and she meets friends and it's life changing and a few twists and turns all set by the beautiful Mediterranean Sea so I try when I can to get words on the paper to keep moving it along uh, which is the most important thing when you're writing which if you are I'm sure you'll understand often we'll procrastinate a little bit um, or life or work gets in the way but it shouldn't because we should uh, make time for being creative time for writing um, I do try and be quite firm with myself to get a certain amount of words done per week. Um, my husband understands, my daughter. And I enjoy it and I think if you are a writer out there you'll understand that if you do get the time to be creative or writing, um, I think you're just a better person for yourself and for your family. I think anybody, if you do things that you enjoy, even if it's, it doesn't feel like work, but it is work, it just makes you a more content, uh, balanced, more mild-mannered, perhaps, person. I love these pencils. I keep meaning to sharpen them. And the same as in here, there's, I think I showed it on another video, but the, um, once I've got seeds in the top, so when you get to the end, you just plant them in the ground. And this one grows uh, chia. And it says, all of us need to grow continuously in our lives. That's very true. It takes obstacles to learn, grow and be better. Basil. I forgot already that I had these ones. So I wonder what you're up to. Are you enjoying what you're doing or are you at a crossroads at the moment or needing to make decisions? Are you content? Are you on holiday maybe? That one's time. Out of difficulties grow miracles. I do believe and it's just my personal opinion that everything does happen for a reason even though quite often we never know why 
once a sage. Your heart is full of fertile seeds waiting to sprout. I think there was another one. It was a daisy one. And then there's these ones that have again I think I had these in a different video. Change for the good. Little sayings and all sorts. Little sayings, repurpose. Less is more. So I've had a busy couple of days trying to sort building work out and obviously at the same time that I run a pub and restaurant which at the moment after the pandemic we're getting back on our feet but short on hospitality staff but I like to think well hopefully we're turning a corner but again what's meant to be is meant to be what's meant to be Make it matter. Make it matter, make it matter. Let's have another card. I did manage the other day, in between everything, to do a very impromptu travel for two days abroad. First time in a couple of years, so uh, that was quite exciting. I decided literally an hour before having to set off so I threw things into a case and uh, it was just for the couple of days just because my my daughter and my grandson were away and I wanted to see him paddling in the pool and also just dip my toe back into travelling again because it did make me feel very anxious the prospect of airports and airlines and uh, the pandemic and sh masks and everything, but I'm glad I did and um, I came back safely, which is good. Awakening consciousness. Most of life will unfold in accordance with forces far outside your control, regardless what your mind says about it. because I know that you're busy. There is nothing more important to true growth than realising that you are not the voice of the mind, you are the one who hears it. Gosh, that little voice in your head is incredibly powerful. You think the solution to your inner problems is in the world outside, but nobody has ever truly become okay by changing things outside. There's always the next problem. Nothing ever is worth closing your heart over. Hmm. It's just a little one. I do hope you're okay and I hope you enjoy. Some of the videos that I do. Um, it's not for everybody the sepia but I like to continue and it helps with my anxiety and I enjoy doing it so if you do enjoy it please uh, leave a comment or subscribe and join our little safe place 
and I'll see you again very soon.